action. Hey all, welcome back to Personal Best. This week, I'm not the guy in the big screen. I'm the guy in the little screen down there. Because today, I'm really pleased to tell you we're interviewing Mike Bamber. Uh, he's a fellow Forex trader, entrepreneur, um, and YouTuber. Uh, Mike's been a real inspiration to myself, um, and I'm sure to others as well. He's had a hell of a start on social media. Um, and today, we interview Mike just to hear his story, how he, hear how he does things, what drives him, you know, how he deals with adversity. Um, and hopefully, guys, you can take a message from Mike and um, and put that into your lives, whether it's Forex trading, whether it's just being an entrepreneur, just taking your life into your own hands and, um, you know, and making, reaching your goals. So let's just dive straight into it. Mike, thank you so much for, for joining me today. How are you, man? Thank you for having me. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so stoked for this first interview, actually. So you have the honor and privilege of being the first interview. So thank you so much. <laughs> Stoked. Uh, right. can't, get, can't wait to get into it. Let's go. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. Mike, t- t- tell me about yourself, mate. Um, you, know, um, you know, where are you from? How old are you? For sure. So I'm a Forex trader from Northwest UK. I found trading in December 2016. Uh, this is where I began, like, developing a passion for trading. Um, apart from trading, I've got a big passion in social media. Um, so I've been documenting my trading journey through there since the beginning of my journey, really. Cool, so, yeah. cool. Um, and, and are you full-time trading now or are you part-time working? How does that work? Good question. So I'm part-time at the moment. I quit my nine-to-five in February. That's gone, gone super quick. Congratulations. Um, yes, quit, thank you. I quit my nine-to-five in February. Um, I've gone part-time for a family business. And then in the future, hopefully within the next few months, I'll make the full transition, hopefully. So exciting times. That's, that's so cool that's really that's great and like um you know obviously you mentioned that you've gone part-time you were full-time it has what was it what was it that um you know made you decide to go do you know what I'm, I'm taking my future in my own hands here what was how did that happen yeah good question so mainly for me it was like the frustrations that brought from the nine to five so personally i i didn't like like working for someone else like ever since like four or five years ago i've kind of I kind of had this like deep gut feeling that I wanted to work for myself. I just didn't mm. know what. Yeah. So with with being in the nine to five, I didn't used to. It sounds like cliche, but I didn't used to like being told what to do by some by a black like, boss. <laughs> yeah. If you get to get me. Um, mm. So yeah, it was it was a, it was a fact as well that I would come home, and I'd, I'd basically throughout the day I'd, I'd spend eight hours at my nine to five, come home, and then I'd have like three, four, five hours, like very little time to myself. Mm. And that was sort of the big thing that like frustrated me. So yeah, so to get out, so to get out of that. Yeah, fair enough. No, no, I appreciate that. And sometimes, you know, when you realise that you're, you've you sort of discover that you've actually got big things that you want to work towards. I, I, yeah, I exactly. get that. I get that enti- entirely. And the, the the thought that actually I'm hanging, I'm, I'm handing over not just eight hours. It's like ten, twelve hours because you think you've got the commute, you've got to get up, all the all the stuff in between. Yeah. It's actually it's 12 hours, half a day gone, and then you have, say, six to eight hours of sleep. There's not a huge time exactly. to work on your goal. So I get that. Yeah, congratulations, man. Well done for you to, to you. you know, like I said, to Thank make you. that decision. Was it an immediate change, Pretty or tough. did you warm up to it? How did it all come about? How did that come about? Yeah, it's a good question. So in terms of, like, quit, in, quit, in terms of quitting an nine to five, like, it's something, to be fair, I'd visualize for a while, like, I'd had I'd had my resignation notice stuck on my wall for like at least twelve months, mm. and I would before I go to bed I'd like visualize that, um, like maybe like fifteen twenty minutes before I went to bed. Yeah. And so yeah, it was, it's kind of like a warm up over time. Like I get present with it, try my best to to visualize it. Mm. And then it was a stranger thing because on the day it just felt it just felt like I'd already done it. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of I can't explain that feeling. Like I just, I'm getting goosebumps bumps now just awesome. thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, handing in my resignation was like one of the best days of my life. Yeah. I just, yeah, it was. I knew it was right for me because it was my gut feeling. So mm. to go back to that moment now is just insane. Just yeah. thinking about that. So yeah, and yeah, you, you, happy. you were saying it was like it all, you know, it to you, I guess. Would you agree that maybe you were already already you were like mentally 10, 12, 15 steps ahead, and physically your body was just catching up with what you, the decisions you already already made. Would that be would that be fair? That's it. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Like the fact that you have to visualize something first, get present with it, mm. get it clear in your mind about what you want, and then go after that with every everything you have, basically. Yeah. So once once you get that, like it's it's I can't explain it. I can't yeah. put it into words. How that feels. Yeah, it was I, just incredible. I, I guess so it's, it's, it's different. It's different for everyone, isn't it? How they feel. But it was, I mean, I remember seeing your video. If you haven't checked out, might check out his YouTube. But 
you see it, you know, you, you documented that video so well, and it, you know, you, you did a really good job of capturing that too. So, you know, congratulations, man. Um, and so now, now that you've committed uh, to becoming an entrepreneur, in your case, a forex trader and YouTuber, how do you support that? Um, support that goal through your, you know, every day. How do you day to day? How do you support that goal? So daily routine. So mm. good question, actually. So I personally like getting up. I love getting up early. So for me, I get up at five a.m. I'll have like a glass of water, a coffee. And I'll get some fresh air to just clear my mind and, and mm. get me ready for the day. Uh, yeah, once I hit the charts, then I'll go through something called the 2020 principle, which yeah. is by Robin Sharma. I don't know whether you've heard of that. Yeah, I heard him. Good, good. So, yeah, basically what it is is like 20 minutes spent on personal development. So I like tend to watch YouTube videos or audiobooks. Mm. And then I'll spend 20 minutes reviewing my goals, so quarterly or annually. And then 20 minutes on my daily goals and journaling. So it gets me, overall, it gets me ready for the day. It gets me in that focused mindset to just achieve anything throughout that day and take mm. everything out. Awesome. So I think, key, I think that's key. And then once I've done that, I'll then jump into like some detailed forecasting or trade preparation that day. Mm. So that gets me ready in terms of trading. Um, and then, yeah, once I've, once I've kind of done that, I'll put my phone on airplay mode. And then what I tend to do, <laughs> what I tend to do is like schedule three to four hours of just like wow. time slots. I can yeah. get purely focused work done. Um, and that, that's something that really helps me because having those distractions from social media while you're trying to get some focused work in can sometimes be hard. So having that airplane mm. mode on is just super key. Fantastic. So I love doing that. Yeah, that's so, that's that's amazing. Mm. That's amazing. And, Thank you. And Thank you. like, yeah, what, was that a big decision for you? Was it hard to do? Because obviously I know social media is one of those things that we, we were so used to it and then to not have it all of a yes. sudden did you find yourself missing it or did you go do you know what this has to happen yeah it's a good question actually so to be fair at the start it was definitely hard because in the mornings i was so used to checking my phone checking messages replying to any mm. messages and you kind of get caught up, caught up in that cloud where, you, where your vision gets cloudy in a way yeah so having so having that time alone where you just purely focused on work is just so key so it definitely was hard at the beginning mm. over the course of like two three days i sort of found my feet within that and then yeah it suddenly became easy because i just put it in a drawer or another room yeah. and then i would just forget about it and just the thing is as well what i found was i'll get so much done within those th three to four mm. hours i'll get more done, done than i actually yeah, would yeah. previously like during the full day that was big that was big for me awesome awesome and they say and so you know um are you are you done by like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock? Yes, so I'm done about twelve o'clock, and then once I've done that, because I work part time, I'll go to the office, mm. spend about three to four hours there. It usually depends, and then I'll come home. That's where I, I like really get focused on social media. So one of my big goals is personal branding, social media. Yeah. So that's when I'll do like loads of content, so post messages, things like that along that, those lines. So mm. yeah, in terms of that, and then. And then also what I like to do is connect with like-minded people like yourself. Thank you. So, so what I tend to do is like jump on Skype calls and just and just try and understand people's journeys, hopefully yeah. give value and just just the whole procedure around that. So yeah, I love it. So good. Brilliant, brilliant. That's so, so that's really important to like you know because if you spend just you spend your time with like the right people, they encourage you and build you up so much. So yeah, as we were saying, Mike, you know, it's talking with like money people is really important. Um, you know, it, they they encourage you loads. But how does that, you know, does that differ vastly from working in a nine to five, or is it the same? How does that work? Yes, very differently. Because the thing is, once you get out the nine to five and surround yourself with with those like minded people, it's so key because they have different goals altogether. Mm. So for for me personally, within the nine to five, that was like one of the big reasons for me getting out because. Even though I'm so grateful for it, I'm so grateful for everything because it taught me how to be myself and what I wanted from life. Like I was surrounded like with kind of like toxic people in a way, a toxic environment. Mm. So I didn't personally resonate with that a lot. And it's kind of like a deep sense of, I kind of knew it was for me like to get out of that situation. Mm. So okay. I think it's so key, it's so key to, to surround yourself with those like-minded people, especially like we've got within Falcon. Like we all tend to push each other. We all mm. lift each other up and just keep each other accountable. Something like that is just so key. And I think it's yeah, so yeah. underestimated as well. It makes such a big impact. So oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. For sure. I think it's, um, it's really important. Yeah, it's like if, um, if you spend time with the wrong people, they just drain your energy so much. And, 
I think exactly. I was listening to a podcast this week and the guy said, you know, if, if you had a hundred pounds every day uh, yeah. and you spent that money on the wrong kind of people, yes. you'd like come home with 50 pounds, which yeah. is not good at all. But if you, you want to spend your time with people that will help you keep that hundred pounds or make 150, they're going to build you yeah. up and fire you up even more. That's really important. That's so good to hear. And I, you know, I can attest myself that, uh, you know, Falcon, the Falcon community are just, they really are just a, a ton of good people um they all they yeah. all want what's best for each other like just because you know my success or your success doesn't detract from their own success and progress and vice versa exactly. everyone just wants to help each other out no that's so cool to hear and i think that, i think that's the most incredible thing mm, yeah ex- exactly and so you know that's your your daily routine and that's amazing it's, it's really important to have that that structured day because without it it just goes to waste but what motivates you mike you know, what, what what gets you out of bed every day yeah, for sure. So, yeah, so it, it's kind of a few things. It's built up of a few different things. The big thing for me is kind of since I begin to, to start my journey, since I begin my trading journey, I've always had people like doubting what I can do. Mm. So that's kind of been a massive motivator behind me because ever since I started my trading journey, people would say, oh, I can't do this. It's unattainable. It's impossible to do that. And that really like, to be fair, that set off a spark in, within me. Like I wanted to prove those people wrong. I wanted to, I wanted to do it for myself, prove to myself that I could do it, and get, being on that path, path now and sticking to that path. Like I'm almost over that. Like I don't think I ever get over it, but it sort of fires you up every single time. So I think that's my that's my main sort of motivation source. And the other one I would say, it's it's going to sound cliche, but just a, a pure passion, just to better myself every single day. I think that's so key. Like I just want to get better at trading at the end of the day. I just want to build up my skill, gain that consistency, and then be able to be able to scale up and stuff. So that's kind of like another big thing. Mm. So and, that, and that's brilliant. I think it's really important to have that um, that goal as well because mm. you know it's your competition is you, especially in the, in the exactly. forex world. Like you know, I we exactly. I, I'll never meet every trader on earth. So I don't know if I'm competing against them. What I'm competing against is myself. You know, yes. can I ha, can I get rid of the bad habits that I had yesterday? Can I improve yeah. the good habits exactly. to make myself better tomorrow? I think that's really that's really important. That's that's a really good kind of balanced view. And that that view you said about uh, uh, you know proving to yourself that you can do it. That's again that's there's a bit of pride in that because FX Definitely. FX trading is one of the Definitely. hardest things on earth sometimes. You know to yep. to accurately forecast and to get your head around that. So that's really that's really great. Um, so it kind of sounds like you've you've got life made it must be pretty easy for you every day in day out <laughs> only kidding only kidding nope. so how, how do you deal with events that, that don't go your way or people that don't agree with the path that you've chosen for sure so i feel like i feel like i'm sure you can resonate with this a lot but i feel like within the trading journey you sort of go through a lot within the early stages so especially like i feel like on social media the trading journey and the entre- entrepreneurial journey is kind of seen as this glamorous thing but it's kind of not no one really shows the the hard sides no one really shows the the beginnings of where they started from and the the tough times within that so i think it's really good to to go into this a little bit today in in a bit of detail so i think once you start out in in like your own journey your own endeavor if if there's anything that's seen out of the out of the scope of no of normal then people tend to laugh at you and just discourage you totally from from achieving that goal and I think, yeah, you do go through those tough times of just trying to prove every single person wrong and just going through your own journey. So I think trying to prove everyone wrong is just so key. You just gotta, you just gotta give it everything you have. Just give it everything, everything you can do every single day, and just build up and do it. That's what I'd say. Yeah, agreed, man. I, you know, I think with especially with social media because forex is such a big thing, and unfortunately there are a, a lot of people who are preying on the naive people. You know they That's show it. they show the glitz and the glamour of the FX lifestyle. They'll 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 show the Rolex. They'll show the car. They'll show the money. All that That's sort it. of stuff. That's, I, totally, yeah. That's yeah. It's like the people who like have the stacks of cash. That bothers me. Something chronic. But yes. it's yeah. it, you know. But like you said, you know, there are there are tough times in trading, especially in that there first is. year. Especially in that yes. first year where like you're you're finding the strategy that works for you. You're finding mm. your own way. You know because everyone everyone That's works it. slightly differently, and then. And then you you end up sort of like challenging yourself or comparing yourself to these other traders, and you don't even know if they're real. They could just be exactly. scammers. Exactly. exactly. So 
Yeah, and absolutely. Like we touched, like we touched on before, like no one talks about the lonely times within trading, and mm. I, I, I feel like I've personally been through that a lot. Like sitting in this room now, like I've, like I've had lights off, just like pure back testing for like two, three weeks. No one talks about the lonely times you go through as a trader, mm. like those yeah, hard yeah. times, because especially for me, like especially like we're talking about before with surrounding yourself with the right people if i couldn't get around the right people i would tend to like close in and just be within my own mind and that sounds a little bit weird but having that time alone is just so key for you to get your thoughts together get your goals together but along that time that was very lonely for me like that first five to six months i would say and yeah it's it's tough it's a tough time like i'm not gonna lie to you it was so hard but coming through that especially like finding finding falcon Mm. And being being surrounded people like like minded people all the time pushing you to succeed is just mm. so so key so key yeah so and that's, great. that's the thing isn't it it's like it's you know people genuine people who want you to succeed mm. they want you to succeed they just want you to succeed that's it um, you know yes. I've met I've met a ton of people who you know have you know a high net worth and they've you know they've done really well for themselves and it's, mm. they never like push you down or they never like threaten your yeah make you try and threaten you know, your success in fact all they want to, they actually want to find out what you're doing and they're really pleased exactly. that you're doing it that's the difference yes. like winners winners win you know they and they want everyone else to exactly. to, to lift up as well i think that's, that's so key and yeah you know, like you said exactly. being a falcon everyone wants each other to do well and when there's yes. you know like this week we had members in the in the community hitting 22 percent returns in yeah. you know in there were people so there who were saying, you know, who were saying like, you know, credit where credit's due. They were posting on Instagram publicly saying, you know, good on you, man. And that I've just, there are communities that you just don't see that in. You know, no one, exactly. no one you know, praises other people because there's that hint of jealousy. But you get past mm. that, you know, being jealous doesn't help you. It just, it, rot, it rots you. But you, yeah, you praise exactly. someone for what, for the good work they've done. You just, you're just going to come out the other end. It's so, so much freer of that, those negative feelings. I've, I couldn't agree more. That's it. Like you said, like you said, credit where credit's due. Like mm. those people deserved it. And I really think because we're in this community now, like Falcon is going to be absolutely huge within mm. like even like 12 months time because of that reason. It's so yeah, genuine. Yeah, yeah. People just all, always helping each other succeed. So that's like the main reason behind it. Yeah. And that within 12 months time is just going to, I can't wait it's to see explode, what it goes. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's like the, 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 we've, we've taken the four, it took, so I've spoken about the forex side of things, the trading side of things, the highs and lows, and everything else. But you've started another journey, um, which is to be a YouTuber as well. Um, and yes. again, congratulations, man! You've had a really good following there. You know, you've in not Thank too you. Thank you. not too long a time, you've built up. You. you know, I mean, I, I think last time I checked, it was at seven hundred and fifty, eight hundred subscribers. I, I could be wrong. Yes. I, I yeah. could be wrong. And you know, again, <laughs> and an amazing. Yeah, you know, you're, you're putting out really great quality video, and I I love what you're doing. So Thank that's, you. that's amazing. So again, how do you? how do you see that long-term goal and maintain the focus on creating that content? And again, what, what goes against you and how do you deal with it? For sure. Good question. So for me, it's all about documenting my, documenting my journey. So coming from Instagram, I've been document, documenting my journey since around about January, 2017, around about that time. And yeah, coming onto YouTube in January, 2018 was like a big step for me because even though it was a goal for me, I didn't want to do it because I was kind of putting myself out there in like, in a way that you don't do on Instagram. You know what I mean? You're putting yourself out there like this, like it's something completely different. So that's kind of, that's kind of hard. It took me a while to get used to that. Like the first video, it took me like 50 takes to get the first, the first little clip, you know what I mean? So stuff like that. Um, but yeah, what keeps me going is, is just the long-term vision of providing as much value as possible to other people. Because when I first started out, like there was no one documenting their journey, showing the experiences, the hard times like we were talking about. And I think that's so key because so many people resonate with that and take value from that. So doing that in my situation, doing that on my journey, like at the end of the day, if I can inspire one person to follow their dreams, go after every single thing they want and just never give up, despite the amount of like encounters they go through, like that would honestly be everything. That's yeah. like, it gets to me like thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like, that's like the main goal with me just to provide as much value as I possibly can and just scale things up and just, mm. yeah, just hopefully, just hopefully provide as much value. That's yeah, the goal. exactly. And I think that's, that's so true. If you can help one person, mm. you know, to, to sort of to go, do mm. you know what I want to, this is someone else can do this. They've proved they can do it. I can do it too. And I think that's fantastic. Mm. And, and you're absolutely right. There's no one, I can't think of anyone that's documenting their 
they're, they're the beginnings of it all. They're quite happy to mm. show them picking up the R8 or they're quite yes. happy to show themselves like, you know, with all the champagne and everything else, that really good yes. side of things. But I think you're absolutely right. You know, when, when you see someone at the start of their journey, you know, taking the hits, taking the punches and still coming out of the yes. other end, you know, aware exactly. of what's possible. Yeah. I think that's amazing. I think, and also the good thing for you as well is like, you know, if you think 12 months down the line, 24 months down the line, you can look back to that day you left your job or the, yeah. um, you know, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Ask Mike, you know, that, that thing, yes. all those, all yeah. those, when you were first starting out, you know, this, we've all got loads to learn still. And I think it's really great. So when yeah, you definitely. can look back, you know, and you're on your yacht and you can look back and, and see what you've done. <laughs> I think that's really cool. Yeah. As well. You can be really grateful for that. Fantastic. So what would you say then uh, to someone who wants to reach out and sort of, you know, to find out, you know, to, to reach their own success under their own steam? Yeah, good question. So I think like we, like we touched on before, the genuineness in a trader mm. is like a huge thing. You don't, want to be, you don't want to be going after someone who's flashing cash all the time or anything along those terms. It sort of comes across as fake straight away. Mm. You, want it, you want that genuine community of like-minded traders like Falcon. Like That's such a big thing because at the end of the day, you're all going to help each other succeed, mm. push each other up. So I think in terms of that, find someone who's got the results that you want to. Yeah. And then feel free to shout out, feel free to message them, mm. get in contact with them and just ask them, ask them about the journey, ask them about what they've been through, ask them about how do we get in Forex. Um, mm. I think that's so big, but key yeah. to that genuine authenticness. Yeah, in a way, I think that's so, so key. That's absolutely true. I think, you know, when I first started, because of the communities I came from, um, yeah. the thought of asking Falcon members for a Skype call was just, to me, I was like, I'm going to get shot down immediately. Why would they waste time on me? And that was because of the other communities I was with, because the people in there, they felt like they were a little too, you know, distant or something. Yeah. It felt really hard yeah. to get to know people. But in the Falcon community, yeah. everyone just wants everyone else to do really well. The, exactly. I can't think of anyone that has got like an ego about it. Yeah, exactly. You know, everyone's, yeah. Pr everyone's proud of what they're doing. But ego mm. is different. There's no one that's going to say, I do one, mate. You know, I'm not going to help you that's out. It. I've got things to do. Everyone, even even the guy who founded it, who has every right exactly. to say I'm far too busy, will yeah. hit you up and talk to you. And, exactly. and those 15 so, minute calls okay. are not 15 minute calls. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> and, and that's the thing. If you find when you find that community of everyone that wants you to succeed, that's it. That's that's how it works, and that's how it should be as well. And so, that's it. I think you might have touched on it already, but you know, what would you say to someone who's about to enter the world of forex? Yeah, like we touched on before, like be be prepared to go through those tough times. It's not always going to be easy. Like coming to forex, there's so many people that that sort of brag that get rich quick scheme. Like it's not like that at all. So don't come into forex thinking that because it's not going to be easy. You're going to go through tough times. You're going to go through times where people doubt you people people will tell you to give up basically in their own words so i think going through that understanding that you're going to go through that to get to those to, to get to those results is so key so i think a big thing is persistence like do not be afraid to go through those hard times because there's so much on the other end of success mm. that we're obviously going after so yeah just just don't be afraid to go through those lonely times those hard times because at the end of the day you'll have a massive story to tell think about it in five years time when you're going to look back on your journey like that's something yeah, i think yeah. about quite a lot like when i'm reflecting i'll think about how i'm gonna i'm gonna look back at my journey right now almost like from a different angle yeah, so yeah, I think, yeah. Think, thinking about things like that like it sort of gets you through those hard times it, it has definitely for me mm. so don't be afraid of going through those tough times just persist until you succeed yeah exactly and like you said before when you're when you're in that right community you can then reach out to people who have gone through those tough yeah. times or might be going through yeah. the same tough time now you know i mean yeah. I, two weeks ago uh you know I had, a, I had a chat with another trader and we both were having that struggle you know either pulling the trigger on trades or seeing okay. bigger trades move past and we you know we ended up having i only spoke you know it was like i think over in the uk it was like two in the morning by the time i got off the, off the call oh really but it was <laughs> it was amazing because you can talk to each other and like in a way, like bust through those limiting beliefs, um, you know, yes. and, and help each other out. And then you literally see the change almost immediately. Not necessarily, mm. like, you, know, you know, I'm not saying that immediately I was hitting 20% months, but I suddenly believed I absolutely could do it and all my actions started yes. falling in line. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool, cool. Thank you, man. Um, so last question okay. for me then. Last question for me is, 
you know, where can people find you and where can people follow your journey? Okay, good question. So if you want to follow, me, follow my journey on, on Instagram, my tag is Michael Bamba, four yep. word, no spaces. And on YouTube, again, Michael Bamba. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the two platforms that I'm using at the moment. So yeah, follow my journey on there. Cool. And you Resonate. absolutely should. You absolutely should. Michael puts up some amazing content both on um, Instagram Thanks. and YouTube. You know, he's a real inspiration to a lot of people and myself included um, because you, just Thank because you. it shows okay. you what you, what is possible. Um, and he's a genuine guy, you know, he's, you know, I'm sure one day he will have the Rolex and the R8. That's not in question here, but he doesn't flash it. You know, the guy, the guy is, is genuine. So definitely follow him. Thank cool. you. Well, thank you, man. That. Thank you, man. Um, and now we're obviously going to do, um, part two, uh, of an interview. Yes. Um, but in the meantime, I'll put the links to Mike's Instagram page um, below and YouTube page below. Go check him out. Uh, but thank you so much. And we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you.